elevator. Now listen closely. In the hall you are about to enter, you will be exposed to radiation, so we'll need to act fast. In the hall you're entering, there will be two pumps. You'll have to find them and get them both running. They were being serviced just before the flood, so it might be you'll have to do some engineering. Got it. to know the code. Do us all a favor and stay away from that door. What are you hiding? What are you talking about, Mark? I know what happened to those missing Metro passengers all those years ago. I've also seen a videotape that proves Jeff Walker was being blackmailed. It wouldn't surprise me if the power plant was also in on this. What? Those are some pretty bold claims. How would you know all of this? I've been in the bunker where they are keeping the train wreck. I have the photographs and documents to prove everything. How did you get in there? And how are you still alive? Nobody's been there for a long time. They abandoned the project. You seem to know a lot of things. I'll give you that. Why did you ask your boss for the door code? What is he talking about? I should confess something. I made a great deal a long time ago. I promised to bring any information related to the SNW project to a certain someone. I can't believe it. So that's why you wanted me to photograph all those documents. That deal helped me to get this job, and I kept all that information to myself until someone hacked our server and we lost all the data. The door code is 0489. I don't know what you'll find inside. We'll have to talk about this once this is all over. We do. 
I know. I'm sorry for not telling you earlier, Mark. Can you disable it? I'll try. Sven Olsen. I was one of the leaders of the SNW project. This project was doomed from the start. It was so badly planned that I should have realized how it was going to end. Instead of trying to get everyone working together voluntarily, we, they, just forced everyone into this mess. I thought I was doing something good. But then that metro accident changed everything. I found out there were so many things that no one told me. Everything I knew about the project was wrong. They designed a biological weapon and sold it to the highest bidder. They don't care about this country. Look at this place. We moved uranium from here to the bunker using Bergman tunnels. You can control this whole facility from in here. And why? To secretly filch nuclear material. Entry. Fascinating. Mark, I knew you could do it. I have to admit, that was a pretty good job you did back there.
Hey, Mark. I hope I didn't wake you. How's your vacation going? No, I was already up. It's good. It's nice to have a bit of peace and quiet after all that happened. That's nice to hear. Actually, I called you because we need your help. We were offered a job to investigate Whiprock Island. You know, the old prison and its surroundings. If you ever get tired of being on vacation, just come by the office and we'll talk more. Get tired of vacation? I have to think about it. Good. And Mark, it's good to have you. We would all be worse off if it wasn't for everything you did. Take care now, and enjoy the rest of your vacation. You've earned it. I will. I'll see you later. I wonder if there's anything on TV. Two Gorges Dam collapsed last year following years of neglected maintenance. Construction work on rebuilding the dam was supposed to finish later this year, but following several delays, Stahlberg Construction Group's new estimates now put the completion over three years away. Repair work on the Bergman tunnels continue. These tunnels caused a shock in August when a collapse in one part of the tunnels set off a chain reaction that wreaked havoc all over Stahlberg. According to the local company, National Consulting Group, who performed a survey of these tunnels, the tunnels were in extremely poor condition and hadn't been maintained for years, despite their vital importance to the city. The tunnels are now being repaired, and all maintenance in the future will be conducted by National Consulting Group. The beer manufacturer Osmo Olut has bought the Walter Tower skyscraper from the center of the city and plans to turn it into their new headquarters. The beer trade has been expanding in the last few years and the company is doing better than ever. The aptly named Walter Tower used to be the headquarters of Walter Corporation, but fell into disuse after their CEO, Jeff Walter, went missing several years ago. A number of condemning documents regarding Stahlberg city officials has been published. The scope of these documents is extensive, and they have already brought corruption charges upon many officials. Further investigation is still ongoing. Mayor Altmaier has resigned in the face of these accusations. That's all for tonight. I hope you all have a good evening. And we'll see you in the morning on Stahlberg News Network.